United Airlines just launched its non-stop flight from Chicago to Sun Valley, and I'm excited to check out the Ketchum Sun Valley area for the first time. On this week-long adventure to Sun Valley, I will be exploring the quaint city of Ketchum while I check out and stay at three different Sun Valley hotels. I will be speaking with the Visit Sun Valley and Idaho Conservation League representative. Then I'll be taking a gondola to the Bald Mountain, visit Galena Lodge, and learn more about Sun Valley's most famous legend, Ernest Hemingway. And of course, I'll be sharing more on places to eat. Hi, my name is Ray Gad. I'm the marketing director with Visit Sun Valley, and uh, we're here in downtown Ketchup. We've got an off the beaten path type of feel. Uh, welcoming locals, authentic shops, beautiful mountain scenery, uh, and lots of outdoor activities for you to take advantage of. The winter's pretty spectacular. We've got skiing, we've got snowshoeing, paragliding off the top of the hill, lots of hockey and ice skating all around. So you go out, enjoy that during the day and then come back for a delicious meal right here in town have some really nice accommodations wake up and do it all over again hi i'm lynn stewart i'm the hotel manager of tamarack lodge here in beautiful downtown ketchum we are a 26 room property so very small very cozy um, we're mostly a summer and winter town here um, we cater a lot to families. We're a great property for families. We're really small, so you can stay really close to each other. We have a beautiful back courtyard uh, where people like to relax in the summertime. Um, we're very pet friendly, which is a great aspect. This whole town is extremely pet friendly. Hi, my name's Tim Johnson. I'm the director of sales here at the Limelight Hotel here in Ketchum. You know, some, of the, some of the benefits of staying here at the Limelight are uh, complimentary shuttle service to and from the airport and around the community of uh, Ketchum and Sun Valley. Uh, you get complimentary breakfast every morning um, and it's a nice breakfast of both hot and cold offerings. Uh, we, we have live music here at the hotel five nights a week so it's kind of a fun scene. I spent my last few days at the charming boutique hotel, Hotel Ketchum. The charmingly welcoming and ultra cozy decor was way beyond my Instagram dreams. I can practically stay all day indoors, happily snapping away photos from all the perfect little corners and nooks of their lobby area. My hotel ketchum room was spacious, modern, and with a dreamy fireplace. Hotel Ketchum's hotel manager, Shannon Allen, toured me around the property from the Hive Salon, their ski rental store, and paddles at Pokey. The last stop to our Hotel Ketchum property tour was at their newest Apre Ski restaurant, Barrio 75, a taco lounge and tequila bar. It's only a week old and already it's a hopping nightly stop. Whether you were on the slopes or you stayed in to mope, the menu will surely get the party going. Hotel Ketchum also offers complimentary continental breakfast for all their guests at the hangout. Before heading out to the Rocky Mountains, I decided to quickly stop by a couple of the local art galleries. Then I took a 45-minute bus ride to Galena Lodge. in 
Dark Sky Reserve, the central item of Dark Sky Reserve. And one of the most amazing things about it is one of the darkest areas in the lower 48 of the United States. And if you live in a city or from a city, you're most likely not used to seeing the Milky Way. And Next bus trip is to the River Run Lodge. I'm going on a gondola ride to the top of the Bald Mountain. Okay, so I just went inside to buy my ticket. It's only $20. Um, and they give you this ticket to scan. Uh, you don't have to ski to go up the Bald Mountain Rock, so I'm doing just that for $20, not bad. Next stop is the famous and historic Sun Valley Lodge. Celebrities like Marilyn Monroe and Ernest Hemingway were among the celebrities that made Sun Valley Lodge very popular. You can find everything about the legend Hemingway here in Sun Valley, from the museum to his last resting place at Ketchum Cemetery. Downtown Ketchum has a great selection of restaurants, but Warfield Distillery is on top of my list to not miss. Hello, my name is Alex Buck and we're at Warfield Brewery and Distillery right now and uh, we're standing in front of our fermenters. We make uh, organic beer, organic whiskey, organic gin, and organic vodka here in-house. And we are uh, proud to be part of uh, Ketchum's only brewery. They have a new James Beard award-winning chef in town and the menu is impressive. I ordered Chef Jay's PB&J New York Steak. My seven-day trip to Sun Valley has come to an end. The next time I visit Sun Valley, I'll be bringing the whole family with me.